If you've either bought a new Creality printer with a glass plate, or you bought a new Creality glass plate for an existing printer, you need to know this. And by that, I mean you really need to know this. This is not clickbait. Okay, let's waste no time getting to the problem here. I see it on social media all the time, and I've experienced it myself, twice actually. When I bought a new bed, I experienced it all over again. What is it? Well, when you first use the glass, you tune everything up, you get your spacing perfect, and stuff just won't stick. This is not normal. I'm going to say, I know it's down to personal opinion, and coatings and beds can be a hot potato, but you bought a glass bed with a special coating, so I will give my opinion here and I'll say don't give up and flip it over. Don't rush to use glue stick, uh, masking tape, hairspray, sugar solution, etc, etc. Stick with the bed and I'll show you why in a moment. Also, stay to the end, I've got a cool thing to show you. Now all this advice, don't get me wrong, it's all well intentioned and quite a few if not all of these suggestions will work. And indeed, I use masking tape or glue stick on my plain glass plates on other printers like the Mini Delta here. But the advice for me is somewhat missing the point. The point being that the Creality bed is amazing and the Creality bed is what you either directly or indirectly bought. I imagine a lot of development time went into creating this coating. And in my opinion, it is vastly superior. Things stick to it with incredible force while it's hot and they come off immediately without any force when it's cool. That's the point of the coating. That's why we use it. But of course, if that's not happening, then I can fully understand the frustration and how you might want to just jump to a method you've used in the past rather than spend time fighting the bed. So what is this magical secret solution that I'm talking about to this problem that happens with a new printer bed? It's quite simple. Clean it. I'm serious. That is all. I just get a wet piece of kitchen roll. I use the good stuff, not the cheap stuff. If you happen to be in a household that uses the cheap stuff, then apart from perhaps needing to realign your priorities, you can you can just use a damp cloth. Um, just make sure anything that just doesn't create dust or lint on the on the bed. Use warm water. You can use soap if you want, but it doesn't seem to matter. When you're done, crank the bed up to 70 degrees C and prime it. By that, I just mean print anything big and flat. This will pull any of the remaining coating off the bed. If you're stuck for what to print, then I recommend something like the parametric box linked below. Once you've done this, you're now ready to enjoy your new bed. Please be sure to read up on how to use a glass bed, but the short version is to print at around 60 degrees C and wait for the bed to fully cool to around 25 degrees C or less before trying to remove the part. Don't use force to remove the part or you might take off some of the coating. I've seen it more than once. If you're struggling to get the part off at room temperature, you can actually freeze or refrigerate the bed and that will usually do the job. Now in the future, if the bed gets dirty, especially greasy, usually from fingerprints, which is why I do advise not touching the bed if you can help it, I use a plastic tool like this as much as possible. But yes, if the bed gets grease on it, it can seriously affect adhesion again. And the process is the same, just clean it and give it a decent amount of scrubbing to get the grease off. You can preheat the bed to make the finger grease lift off without soap. And if you're wondering what the coating on the bed is, I have no idea. I really don't. Apparently you can't even see it. I think that's why it trips a lot of people up. Now I did promise some bonus end content. Uh, I was on Thingiverse yesterday and I found this amazing bird whistle. It's not a new item, but I just found it randomly. It doesn't do anything until you fill the bottom almost full with water, and then... Suddenly it sounds... like a bird. I think it's really cool. It's about a two hour print. I did it with two shells and 15% infill. Check the link below for the model. Now that's it! Thank you for watching. 